Hello from Kuchi in India. Kerala is known as the region here called God's Own Country and they say that about Yorkshire in the UK but we'll see if um, the weather's a bit better here it looks like which I'm happy with. A couple of things I need to sort out first whilst I'm at the airport so I need to get myself on the Wi-Fi which I managed to speak to a lady who's really helpful and she managed to get me a code because my phone wasn't working for some reason a text message to verify my number wasn't coming through but I went over to the desk to speak to her and she's got me sorted out the next thing after that was to register my eSIM which is now working thankfully and so now I can get myself an Uber I have tried to get some cash out at the ATM and what I found is that my Monzo didn't work initially I had to enable Magstripe and then I've tried it three more times and it still won't work so we'll leave the cash for now it's warm and i can't complain the flight was only three hours long so it wasn't a long long flight and this is part of the reason why i took a stopover in abu dhabi because it was a free stopover etihad offered two nights free accommodation in a three-star hotel so i thought why not I broke up the journey split the time zone difference a little bit so it means i'm a bit fresher so yeah Let's get this Uber and let's see what Coochie is like. Got my driver now booked. Didn't realise he was sending me messages to check if I had my baggage or not. Was waiting for me to confirm that before he drove over to the airport because I wondered why he was just standing still. So he's now on his way. Four minutes. And then I think it's about a 20 minute drive into Coochie so it shouldn't be too far. Hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler because it's right by the coast where hopefully there should be a bit of a breeze. So yeah, he's arriving right now, I think. This might be him that's just flashed me, is it? No. <laughs> I need that lorry, he will give you. Mm -hmm. So whatever, we people are greedy. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. So people start asking more and more and more and more. Mm. Finally, Parashirama doesn't have a piece of land to leave. Uh. So his weapon is axe. He throw his axe into the Arabian Sea mm. and the sea went back and there forms the Kerala. Ah. That's why Kerala is called God's own country and Kerala is so beautiful. Wow. See this? Yeah. Welcome Amazing. to Kerala. <laughs> Welcome to God's own country. Wow. Here in Kerala, it's very humid. Uh huh. So, humid means bacteria, yep. virus, everything. In India, yep. the first corona case is from Kerala. Aha, uh -huh. right. And there is one more virus called Nipah virus that is also from Kerala. Uh -huh. So we welcome everything. We welcome <laughs> whole thing. All the viruses, all yes. the people. All the people. <laughs> from northern Kerala to southern Kerala, uh -huh. full tourism. Mm. Yes. In two days I'm going to Manar. Okay, great. Yes, mm -hmm. up in the mountains. Yes, great. Munar is also called South Kashmir. 
Kashmir. Mm. South Kashmir. Yeah. Yes, Kashmir is the northern part of India, which is very beautiful. Yeah. So in Munar, it will be like 1,800 meter above sea level, and it will be very cold, and it will be full greenery. Mm -hmm. You can see the mist. You can uh, go through the mist and see all the things. Nice. That would be nice to cool down a bit. And then, yeah, I'm going to uh, Ala Alepi. Alepi. Alepi yes. is also called East Venice in Italy. East Venice? Yes. Okay. There is very less cars and bikes because we have to. Waterway. Yes. We yep. have to take the waterway. Uh -huh. Canopy. Uh -huh. Now there are some new, new technology came, new, new bridges came, little bit. Ah, uh, right, okay. But Mostly the transport system is canopies. Yes, water based, yeah. Yes. Mm, it looks beautiful. Uh, we have in them. That flat, all the cabin crew, I mean, cabin crew stay over there in the flight. Ah, uh, the airport yes. royale. Yes. Huh. <laughs> How many countries you visited? Um, I think maybe about 20 in total wow. so far. Great. And on this trip, I'm going to be doing 22. By the way, you earn money to travel all the countries by marketing. So, doing my main job, oh. I I worked in the same company for 10 years okay. and they wanted to let me go. Okay. And so there's a law in the UK, if you've worked somewhere for over two years, they have to pay you to leave. And it's like a protection for employees. So it was a, some money that I was like, okay, I'm 36 now and it was my dream to travel when I was 16 and I didn't do it because I didn't have the money. So I was like, this is a, I think like a sign from the universe or to say here is the time now, like this is your chance, you're being given an opportunity to go for it. So yeah, <laughs> that's that, why. That means you're really blessed for travel. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Each and every person in Kerala can read and write their names. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Is that just from the school system then? Yes, school system. Yeah. And from this bridge, if you look left side, yeah. you can see one river called Peria River. Peria River. Okay. Peria River. Oh, yeah. Peria River. So, you are going to drink the water from which is filtered from this river for the next two days. Ah, so this is where all the fresh uh, drinking water comes from. Yes, but and not from, not from the tap, right? Not not, not no. from the tap. I've been <laughs> told not to drink tap water in <laughs> India. It might not end well for me. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving the lane systems here. Ah. <laughs> Actually, Kerala doesn't have a proper nightlife. It doesn't. Yes, that's good. No nightlife means less crimes. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm going to Goa as well okay. later, but I'm staying in the south, like an hour drive from the airport south, okay. to be away from all of the nightlife. Okay. I don't want to be near all the noise. And, no, <laughs> I don't drink alcohol. You see, so for me, it doesn't. Okay. But that's nice. So it's very peaceful here. Yes. What's your favorite thing about living in Kerala? Freedom. Freedom. Yes. Mm. We won't get any uh, freedom like this in any other states. Ah. Even though the politics is little bit corrupted, mm -hmm. but not that much corrupted like any other states in India. Yep. Interesting. You've got votes, haven't you, right now? There's an election yes, the starting election in coming. a couple of days. Yes. Mm. The campaign is started. Ah, has it? Yes. Right. Is it the same here than in the UK where when they start to campaign for political or for voting, oh. they um, they don't have any more government running. Government oh. stops whilst they're doing the campaign and the vote. Uh, so, so yes. Again, one more bridge is coming. Uh huh. The same river which flows, Peria River. Uh huh. You can see on the left side. Yep. Peria River has more than thousand streams. Thousand streams, wow. Yes, and most of the streams which connected to, which will be passing to Arabian Sea. See this? Ah, Arabian if the sea. sky is clear on the horizon, you can see mountains. 
Wow. After that is Munnar. Tomorrow, <laughs> day after tomorrow, you are going there, no? Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the sky is not clear. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's amazing because that's quite far away. It's like a three-hour drive, isn't it? Yes, three and three and a half hours. Right? Yeah. It's like hilly area. Mm. It's like zigzag. But the road is nice. Our metro starts from here. Ah, so this is the this starting point. This actually it's monorail. Mm -hmm. It's on the top. Metro right. goes under, no? Uh, oh is yeah, it? you can see actually like the track just stops there, yes. and then it. It is not connected to the airport. Airport right. is 20 kilometers from here. Ah, so do people get the metro and then get a, a yes. taxi or a tuk tuk? Yes. Loving this, getting a tour as well as the taxi. <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy the way everyone weaves inside. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that like in the UK it was um, crazy traffic, but this is different. <laughs> Munar, moon means three, uh -huh. R means river. Three rivers? Yes, Munar is the place where three river meets. Okay. I, don't ask me the name of the river. I am really <laughs> sorry, I forgot. <laughs> that's okay. That's great. I wondered why, uh, what the name meant actually. <laughs> that's, that's good. Can you tell me why Britishers found Munar as their basic place? Is it similar to like Shimolo in the north? Where because when it got too hot, they would go and yes, stay yes, because under of the, the temperature. Yeah, the yeah. temperature in Britain, the temperature is freezing temperature. In Munar also, the same temperature. That's why Britishers... Right, they like to go. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see the um, political signs with... Um, is UDF, is that a pol political party? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Is the UDF the one that's in charge now? Right now the power is communist. Communist, yes. yeah. So before entering, I need to recharge my uh, toll. Oh, so that's how so, they you know the yes, otherwise, uh, otherwise, yep, double charge they will charge. So it's got like a RFID that they read, yes. and I have to do it before 20 minutes. Ah, so I need uh, one 15 seconds to yep. charge my cool. No worries. This is for sports. Decathlon. Uh, deca decathlon, yeah, you know, we have this as well in the, um, in the, in the UK. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Decathlon, um, uh, the quality is very good. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's a high-end brand in the yes. UK. I bought a shoe for 899 rupees. 899? 899. Mm. And the, it was made in uh, Bangladesh. Uh -huh. But the nice. quality, you know, yep. fine quality. Okay. It's like a running trainer? Or? Yes. Yeah. James Bond is from UK, no? UK, yes. Mm. Which one do you like? Pierce Brosnan or uh, Daniel Craig? <laughs> um, probably Pierce Brosnan, I'd say. Just because he's old school. Okay. He's like, I think, the more romantic era of James yes, Bond. Yes. Rather than Daniel Craig is when I think it's starting to go a bit... Mm. He's a little bit cyborg. Yeah, and no offence to Daniel Craig, I just don't feel like he pulls off James Bond as well as... It's probably my dad that also has something to do with this because my dad and me used to watch the old movies all the time <laughs> together, so... Yeah. So, this container road, no? Very beautiful. Uh-huh. Very beautiful and there is not that much traffic. Okay. The other road is through the town, which is very traffic and uh. it will take more time. Okay. okay. Oh gosh, that guy just got his mobile phone in his little helmet. That was so cool. <laughs> That's brave. The maximum speed is 80 km per hour. Okay. I 80. cannot exceed that. Uh huh. But I keep 70 km per hour. Yes. This is safe. And so, is that just the is that the maximum you can go on any road, yes, or sir. is it the motorway is faster? For this road, 80 km. Uh -huh. In Inside the city, like 30, 30, 35, 40 maximum. Okay. And no higher on the motorway or highway? No. Maximum is 80. Wow, okay, interesting. Okay. I when I just came from Abu Dhabi, their fastest was 140 kilometers. Oh my God. Uh, to the airport. Okay. On the, but they have six lanes of motorway. Okay. 
Sir, right it's side. Crazy. Right side is a pesticide uh, fertilizer company. F A C T. Fact. Fact. Fertilizer and chemical of Travancore something. Uh, for aquaculture and. Yes. In one survey, the world's most polluted area is this one. Huh. Is that just because of all the agriculture waste? Yes. And, but yeah. you will never see um, everything will be green because of this fertilizer company. Mm. Ah, nice. So they're like regenerating yes. whatever waste there is. Right side, you can see the funnels. Funnel. Oh yeah, the um, chimney. At, chimney. Yeah, yeah. At night, every everything will be smoke. Ha. Huh. That time they will close because it's like that. Right, so to keep the air quality, yes. they switch them off in the day. Yes. Interesting. I was going to ask actually because the air quality seems okay here. Nowhere yes. near as bad as it's going to be the further north I go when I get to Delhi. <laughs> Delhi is very polluted. Mm, yeah. So I, I've heard. <laughs> Another branch of Periyar River. Wow, so is it kind of just weaving around? Yes. More than thousand streets. Mm. A lot of people on mopeds as well and uh, bikes. Yes. Is it just because it's faster to move around? Here. Uh, uh, smaller. Is there in the UK we have this thing called rush hour, okay. which is in the morning when everyone goes to school and to work. So between like 7 a.m. and 9 and 10 a.m. It's really busy on the roads. And then in the evening, it would be like from 3 o'clock until 6. It's very busy on the road. Is it just the yeah. same here or is it same. always busy here? Same, same. Yeah. Oh, same. So morning and morning. afternoon. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Coffee stack. Yep. Helmet is compulsory. Ah. For both front and back. Right. That's why everyone wear helmet. This is good. But if you go to Delhi and don't know, you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's true. Actually, every single person who's got a bike yes. is wearing a helmet. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Camera surveillance is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, the medical system is very good, advanced. Okay. And, and the world's best nurses are from Kerala. Ah, best nurses are from Kerala? Are from Kerala. Interesting. You will be seeing lots of Indian Kerala nurses in your, in your Manchester. In, I imagine there is already a lot of Indian uh, doctors, yes. a lot of Indian nurses are in, yes, yes, the UK. I'll have to ask next time I meet one, are you from Kerala? Yes. <laughs> Each and every person can speak at least three languages, three to four languages. Wow. So. I'm guessing it's English. Of course. Hindi? Yes. And uh, what's the third? Malayalam. Kerala language is Malayalam. 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 Yes. Malayalam. Okay. And Tamil. And Tamil. Tamil. Okay. Because we watch lots of Tamil movies. Like right. That we, we know Tamil. Okay. Hindi is our national language. Mm -hmm. And English is yep. communicating. But obviously, Hindi is more common in the north, I believe, yes. from what I've read online. So that must make it very interesting because you can have people from other parts of India come and visit, and there still be a lot of confusion around language. And my second language in school was Hindi. Ah, like that, I can speak frequently. Yes, fluently. Interesting. I've got um, some words that I put on my phone for Hindi to then just realize that Hindi is not the language. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Namaste. Namaste. And Kesoi. Keso? Keseho. Keseho. How are you? Keseho, yes. And then Kitna. How much? How much verb? Okay, good. <laughs> I'll be an expert by the time I leave in 30 days. Can you see that house inside that one? Yes. More than 300 years old. Wow, 300 years old. Can you see that building? Small? Yep. At the time of Maharaja, that was the tax collecting area. This road, if you go this road, walk 20 minutes fast, yep. you'll reach my house. <laughs> no way. <laughs> wow. 
That's amazing. So is that like a museum then, or is it like a protected area? Uh, uh, protected, house? protected. Yeah. So no one can buy it or demolish it. No one can buy. We cannot rebuild. We cannot alternate. Yep. Mm. Left side. That building. Oh. Aster Med City. Yep. Aster Med City targeted on Arabic people. Ah. It's a hospital. Right. And you've this got is also connected off the Yarra. Yeah. And you've also got the fishing nets as well. Yes, Chinese fishing net. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen so many palm trees in all of my life. This is With coconut tree. Coconuts, yes. yes. Wow. Beautiful. Kera means coconut. Keralam. Kerala. Ah. Coconuts. The land of coconuts. The land of coconuts, Kerala. <laughs> Coconut oil, uh, we will place it on our head, body and take bath. After one minute, we will take bath. Interesting. It can take away the algae from our skin. Yep. Ah, Coconut oil can be reused for cooking two, three times. Yes. No other oil cannot be reused because they will get toxic. Coconut oil can be reused. Yes. Because it's natural. And yes. Yeah. Natural and disinfectant. Yeah, and very healthy as well, cooking yes. in coconut oil rather than other... But pure coconut oil is like the, uh, mother's milk. Ah, okay. Yep. This area, no? You can buy this area for... Uh, you can lease this area and you can uh, fish culture. Oh, okay, yep. You're fishing. Yes. Are you vegetarian? No. So, pearl spot is the best fish you can try. Pearl spot. Pearl spot. And prawns and crab and yep. sometimes pilopia. Oh wow. This area, no? Ah yeah. My friend's area. Huh. I you before marriage I used to come to that small hut. Yep. And go Every fishing. Every weekend I used to come here and drink beer and catch fish and fry and drink <sighs> and blast. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> After marriage. No, all out the all I'm gone. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> You have responsibilities now. Yes, of course. <laughs> these are mangroves. We cannot cut these trees. Uh -huh. Full mangroves, protected. Ah, uh, wow, yeah. You yeah. know about mangroves, no? They will bind the soil and uh, they will uh, mm. help from soil erosion. Yes. So, government is uh, protected this small, small yeah. mangrove forest. Half an hour, mm -hmm. you will reach my father's house. <laughs> <laughs> wow, find the mangroves. Right side, sir. Ah. This river is called Virenpura. Virenpura is also connected to Peria River. Okay. <laughs> See why you said the mosquitoes are going to do that. <laughs> Flowing water doesn't have mosquitoes. Holding water will be very mosquitoes. All these are flowing waters. Okay. The mosquitoes come from the drainage. Right. Interesting. So the ground they come up. Yes. Six thirty. There we go. <laughs> okay. I've got time. Yes. Get myself protected against. <laughs> Ganesh came to Ginish. Ganesh. Ah. Ganesh came to Ginish. <laughs> the meaning of my name in yes. Sanskrit is Surya, sun. Sun. Ah. Yes. Like as in the light. Yes. Sun. Not as in the sun of a father. I can spread light. Ah. The light is light is also called knowledge. Yep. I am spreading knowledge oh. to you. You are. Ah, yes. You're spreading the light now. Thank you. British made good things and bad, bad things. Yep. 
everything is a little bit ad advantage. Right now also we use lots of things of British. Yes. Like bridges, roads, everything. Mm -hmm. And trains. Well, but the trains were built by Indian people but under the guise of the British, I suppose. But I suppose they're good things. But uh, well, there was a cost, ultimately, to India for those things. And that cost probably is not fairly... Britain was the one that probably won in the long term, I think. Yes. Which is sad. But that's what the history was. Right side. National mm. Shrine Basilica Vellarpa. Mm. There is a church over there. Oh yeah, white church. Very historical place. <laughs> wow. And also very tall, so you can see the cross from everywhere. See the cranes from China. Oh yeah. So it really is like a cosmopolitan uh, yes. of lots of mixing cultures all in one yes. place. Interesting. Now we are entering to a to an island called Waipin Island. Waipin Island. Yes, this is the Waipin Island. Ah. Waipin Island is the most thickly populated island in the whole world. Really? Yes. You are lucky to enter into Waipin Island. <laughs> <laughs> Manchester to Waipin Island. Wow. And this is where we're going. Yes. Ah. I want you to listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Now we have a ferry over there. Ferry? Ferry. Yeah. This car will be entering to that ferry. Ah, we're taking the ferry. Yes. But you, I want you to get out of the car. Uh huh. Stand in the ferry. Yep. So you can take a 360 degree. Take the view in, yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. That sounds good. And this ferry is not charged by Uber. It's yep. 50 rupees. Yep. That you have to give me. Do you pay card? Only. I don't have any cash. No problem. I will pay. Uh, because I, I tried. Will... Thank you. I tried at the cash machine and it did not allow me to take any money out. I think my debit card would not work at the ATM. So if there's an ATM on the way, I can I, get some cash out. No problem. Anyway, yeah. there is a little bit queue for that ferry. Uh -huh. We have lots of time. My wife is a beautician. Oh really? Yes. Uh. So she will she will go and make up the bride. She's uh -huh. a bridal specialist. Wow, so she goes on their special day and makes yes. them. And they're very demanding brides, she aren't know, they? She knows how to uh, thread mm. uh, cropping. The eyebrows. And, and is making them wear sari mm -hmm. makeups. Oh, wow. So, this shop, no? That is run by the government. And the government? We can buy uh, rice, kerosene for lighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is written in that? Kerala, Samstana, Podu, Vidarna, Kendra. Podu means for public. Interesting. So the government is like kind of, sub they're like yes. subsidizing that subsidize, guy subsidize. for running the shop yes. and offering the services there. If you have that uh, yeah. uh, ration card. Yes. Ration. Ah, okay. Yes. How come these buses are just flying past? <laughs> there is a bus station, bus stand away there. Ah, so everyone wipe, drunk. Wipe in bus stand. Ah, uh, makes sense. Everyone thinks they're getting off the bus and, and go, for, go the to the ferry. ferry. The bus won't enter in the ferry. Right, I see, yes. Ah. So I was warned, don't make plans too close together in India, because things will take longer than you expect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going the manual way. Yes. The old fashioned. And I will take you ticket and that, that oh. will be taking you to the other side and you can put the map and go to Yes. Perfect. And then can I I need to make sure I reimburse you for that ticket as well. This is from the Portuguese. This church. Oh yes. Sir you can get down otherwise you cannot. You can get down. Ah, okay. 
Meinst du, gell? <lacht> <lacht> I can feel the heat now, I've just come outside. It's a change of plan. I'm gonna to walk to the ferry and I'm gonna get the ferry on my own because it would be sat in the taxi for ages and the taxi driver said it's the fastest way because I'm just going over. But this is where the issue is of not having cash and an impromptu ferry trip. Oh, it's uh, beautiful colors and like, huh. oh my gosh, I'm yeah, about to get run over here. People everywhere. What's going on? It's madness. <laughs> I'll follow you. <laughs> so all these people are waiting for the ferry. Yes. Wow. Look at this. I'm guessing it's not an orderly queue either, like in England, where everyone queues in a nice line. <laughs> you can stand over there. I will take the ticket. Ah, amazing. Thank you. Right. Everyone's getting off the ferry now. <laughs> it's so good, he's going to burn me. <laughs> Get me a ticket. Oh. Hopefully I can make myself on. There's a whole bus and everything that's getting off. This is crazy. Look at that. Is this a ticket? Yes. Cool. You quickly type your Insta. Ah, yes. So we can keep in touch. That's my Insta. Okay. And then um, on my YouTube is on here as well. Okay. So yeah. So in keep about... in touch. Yes. Thank you. So I'll tip you for the ticket as well. Because you paid for this. Okay. This is too kind. No I so... will be closing this. Okay. okay. Bye. Thank you very much. Honestly. Yes. Thank keep you. It, keep you look touch. after me. <laughs> like this. Okay. Right. Perfect. There will be a person. You, be... you, know, you saw that cab person white. Yes. Give this ticket to him. Okay. Okay. This beard person. Beard person blue, with a cap and the blue t top. Yes. Yeah. You can go like this. Around the cap. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go, let's go. Excuse me? Have I been told to pass this? Thank you. Um, right. Okay. Right, let's see what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, from Kerala. Ah, nice. <laughs> I'm from Manchester. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. You are, you are coming from? Uh, Manchester. Manchester. Right? Yeah. He's a big fan of Manchester. Manchester. Ah, so nice ah okay. Whereas everyone used to be a big fan of Man United back in the day, like yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's fan of Messi. Lionel ah, Messi. Messi. Ah. <laughs> I don't actually like football, can you imagine? <laughs> if you were to ask a side, it would be Man United. Yeah. Yeah. Just because I used to be a client, so that's why. Oh my gosh. How many we want to take a selfie with you. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello.
to go next. <laughs> Gonna head around here. I'm out in the wild without my taxi driver friend <laughs> to look out for me and make sure I don't get run over. Okay. Gosh, everybody's waiting to get on the ferry. There's so many people. Wow. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. So we want to be 12 minute walk. People told me that India is going to be a culture shock and um, maybe I had some fear around certain things like walking out in front of cars and <laughs> trying to be scammed. But so far everyone's been super nice and I know that the taxi driver then really could have actually brought me the other way which is coming onto Fort Coochie Island but he was saying the traffic was bad and so I've just believed him like I maybe it could have been faster but do you know what I learned so much more about Coochie Kerala all because of him spending the time talking me through things so I'm happy the way it's panned out I got to experience the ferry okay so going left here oh there's a pizza hut over here <laughs> Look at the coconuts here. Which I only just learned that coconuts is Kerala, which means land of coconuts, I think he said. Okay, left here. Right. I mean, there are some pavements here. <laughs> Although I can see myself falling over. <laughs> so maybe I won't walk on this the whole way. It's quite uneven. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? It's my first two hours in India, in Kuchi, and so far everyone's just been polite, friendly, smiling, welcoming. So I know people have said be careful of a lot of things here. It's crazy, the culture shock. But maybe I'm yet to experience some of that. I mean, saying that, I didn't mind being crammed on a boat with loads of cars without anything to stop me falling off the edge. But I've solo travelled before, so I'm used to some kind of crazy stuff, like walking out in front of tuk-tuks that are moving. <laughs> First impression so far, I'm loving it. Um, I'm excited to get to the hotel, have a shower, and then get myself out for some dinner and experience all that Gucci has to offer. Thanks for watching. My next video will be things to do in Coochie, which will be available up here. So check it out. <laughs>